So, um, Jepunker, tell us what this looks like in practice. So, what are what is the kind of picture that that many manufacturers have in their in their IT landscapes? What does this look like so far? Right. Absolutely. So, the most important point to understand that industry 4.0 is not about a single technology or solution, but rather it's a combination of multiple solution platform technologies that in tandem help to realize the digital and the data fabric. Mm -hmm. Now, let us consider a typical manufacturing plant having different legacy systems for manufacturing operations management, for example, the SCADA, Historian, MES, which all mm -hmm. need to be integrated with the OT layer, that is the sensors and the gateways connected to the machines to get the relevant data. Ultimately, you need to collect the data, you need to contextualize it, and then you need to integrate that data, pass the data to your enterprise and cloud systems to complete the overall logistics and the production process. Now, the integration across so many different systems itself is a very complex task. Mm -hmm. And it's a very well-defined and scalable architecture. For example, unified namespace. Now, unified namespace is a very modern concept in the industry 4.0 architecture domain, uh, which is basically nothing but a semantic model of your plant assets with a mm -hmm. hierarchical view, which ultimately can enable a real-time integration with the different systems through MQTT messaging from which it can get the data, for example, from the PLC, SCADA, mm -hmm. historian sensors, as well as the business system. So that ultimately you get a single place where you can see the semantic model of mm -hmm. your plant asset structure and the relevant data, the KPIs along with that. Moreover, also you need to create the workflows across the different systems, right? And Henrik was also earlier mentioning this. Mm -hmm. This is the most important key from a business perspective and manage the events based on the data what are coming from your machines and the IT applications. And then you need to derive the insight to analyze the train and so on. And at a more matured state, you should be able to do the predictive analytics to mm -hmm. get notified about certain events, such as the machine breakdown much early actually, even before it happens to actually prevent it. Now, all this calls for a different technical components and platforms to be integrated mm -hmm. together using a very scalable architecture so that you don't need to change it again and again once you introduce a new system, a new factory, or a new process.